Okay, we're on the Uni Den 300, which ended up jumping the queue because we needed to look inside it to be able to fix the audio line 345, which had had the kiss of death. So I don't know what you can even see on the video with it all being black. It's the late version with the factory fitted crystal filter. Not heard anybody on it yet. We'll go to Mega Chippy channel. Tango 21, Mr. Chippy de copy. Tango 21, you seen you loud and clear. Roger, recording now. Roger. So we'll go over to our extension speaker so you can hear it that way. Roger, got you at the end of the lane. Roger. Alright, we're now passing Ancaster service station. Roger, got you at Ancaster service station. Roger. So we're on the factory microphone which has come with it. And I've got the tone on the high position. I'm going to switch it to the low position. See what it sounds like on his next over. Then I'll switch it back. Roger, got you at Ancaster Crossroads. Roger. Alright, we're now passing the top of the hill. We'll go down towards Wilson. Roger, got you at the top of the hill. Roger got you going around Scratchy Corner, Willsford. I'm on the Uniden Uniace 300 base station late version and he's doing a full 4 watts over. Yep, Roger that, always do. Right, now we have a Willsford level crossing, over. Roger got you going over Willsford level crossing. Roger got you at the Kelby turn. So that's now at the four mile point. Roger got you at the Grayley's turn. Now notice it was struggling with the squelch there. These sets are less sensitive than Cybernet radios. Roger got you going over Rawspey level crossing. With it being a Sunday, I expect the petrol station is shut over. Negative 165.7 and 185.9. Oh, excellent. Well done. Right, that concludes the test. Thank you. 10 10. Right, so that just showed the sensitivity difference at our worst possible point, the 5 mile point. Remember these tests. If you're not watching these all the time, these tested on the wrong side of a hill, um, deliberately in our worst possible direction. If we went over towards Notting, we'd be getting 35 miles. And it does come out the other side. Don't think that six miles is where it ends. We could go through the, the town of Sleaford and come out the other end. But we're not going to do that. It's a comparison test, not a maximum possible range test. So there we go. The Unid Ace, uh, Unid N300 lives once again. Um, no transmitted audio was its primary snag. Um, I don't think it was going to last much longer though with that uh, severed bolt on the output transistor of the power supply if you looked at the repair video. So we'll go over to our base station, our Harrier CBHQ. We're going to test it on the factory supplied mic and we're going to test it on our standard replacement wherever I've put it. There's the standard replacement. Tango 21 testing the Unit N Uni Ace 300 Mark II Black Front at the base station with the factory original microphone into our Harrier CBHQ base. 
testing, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. And now we'll just go over to my standard replacement mic. Thank you, 21, testing with the standard replacement mic. Testing, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. And thanks for watching.